Alrighty, it's 8.32 a.m. and I look like a balding middle-aged man with my hair. What the hell is going on? I just had a really cool business meeting with Castle, which is this company that I'm partnering with to do rental clothing subscriptions because what's better than using the clothes that we already have out in this world? There's so many. We don't need new ones. Anyways, it's 8.30 and I kind of started feeling stuck so then I remembered to shake my titties a little bit and then go out in the wild, okay? Live, laugh, love, make the most of it. So we're gonna start by making some coffee. So no, I'm not a pro. I still have a teapot yet. I use a pot to heat up my water for my coffee, but that's totally fine because you know what? It works for me all right enough. I was just thinking, do y'all remember? Oh, it's cold in my house still. <laughs> Y'all remember that U2 song? It's like, it's a beautiful day, it's got foul feeling. I don't know the actual words, I, I think that's right. The traffic is stuck, you don't need no explanation. You're out of luck, cause the reason that you had to care now, you're out of luck. But anyways, while my coffee's heating up, this is a very fun um, little adventure we have going on here called I don't have a coffee grinder, so I use a food processor. It works. Let's do it. I usually have better coffee because a lot of my homies work at coffee shops and I just get my beans from them. But I was out and I was broke and I used my food stamps to get some Pete's coffee. It's decent. It's a medium roast big bang which is perfect for my morning because I need a fucking big bang. It's a food processor type thing. We're gonna use this one. Then we're gonna use this adapter here. Plug it in. It's not what it looks like. Or maybe it is. It's a food processor. Then you go like this, like that. So the process is a little funky. Let's get into it. All right, now that we have a new angle that's unlocked, um, we're gonna add these whole beans. Wow! That's like a shot of the morning, baby. That wakes you up. We got some whole beans because I thought they, well, I didn't think that they were grounded. I just didn't think to check. How much goes in a coffee cup? This is what we're gonna put in the French press. I have a French press, by the way. I'm a French press gal. This is where the process gets a little weird. <laughs> we take the towel for grinding the beans. Bean, the beans, beans. We put this in. And we have to put this around here because the first time I didn't do it with the towel, it just completely spread beans everywhere. And it's not the kind of morning where I want beans all over my coffee or my kitchen. So then we grinded ground beans, bean and ready. Oh my God, it is so cold in this house right now still. I don't, oh, I have a heater. I love when I realize modern solutions to modern problems. I just brought my heater, my handy, handy little heater in the kitchen and now I'm warming warming up at least. It's still cold. So we got our beans. This is my French press. My mother got it for me. She's an angel. I love her. I like the wood details. They're very cute. Okay. So I have to ah! I'm usually better at pouring this. I swear I never spill. I'm just a little camera shy and this angle's weird because I'm filming, okay? French press coffee. Oh my gosh, y'all, I need to tell you as we wait for the coffee to steep a little bit. I'm a huge Justin Bieber fan. I've been a huge Justin Bieber fan. Since one time came out on demand and I remember the day it came out because I would look on on demand with my friends like every day to watch music videos. And we were like, oh, this one's new. One time, Justin Bieber. And we watched it and we were like, ha, oh, what a lame little kid. And we were like, let's watch it again and like make fun of him and stuff. So we watched it again. And then we watched it again. And then like the third time we were like, okay, he's kind of cute though. And then we were like, <laughs> and then we all became obsessed with him. And then I'm the only one who's like a really big Justin Bieber, Bieber fan to this day. So when I was younger, I listened to all his songs. So I was like, where's that unreleased stuff? I need to hear more of him. I want to hear the stuff that not everyone does. But anyways, I haven't looked up his unreleased songs in a really, really long time. Since like 2012 or before. Just with this uh, Justin Bieber drama that's kind of going on with him and these two gals, I'm sure y'all know, we don't need to get into it. I've been seeing a lot more like Justin Bieber content in general and especially some of his most recent live performances and I'm like, whoa, okay, Bieber fever, babe, it's back. So I was like, I'm gonna go look at some unreleased songs of his and see like what's new. There's so many, there's so many good ones. And last night I was just like, 
Okay, so my friend Hanan told me that he usually, when he's doing French press, waits for the little things to fall a little bit before pressing it. And now that we're at the falling things part, we will press. It reminds me of that song by Lil Peep. Oh, let's watch the rain as it's falling down. Sunlight on my face when you're not around. I have some good mug options, but I definitely want to go for one of my Monet ones that my mama gave me. I think I want this one today because it's a nice little scenery. Oh my lord, that's kind of scary to do. It smells nice. I am really spoiled though. I feel like I'm just used to different beans and it's like, it's good, but it's like not the best. It's Pete's. Pete's is fine. Nothing against Pete. Love you, Pete. I like you, Pete. I don't know if I love you. So here's the thing. I like black coffee, but I like black coffee that's not this Pete's coffee. So because it's Pete's coffee and because I'm feeling a little sweet this morning, we're gonna use the non-dairy, oh my God, I know it's Starbucks, okay? Caramel macchiato, which actually, I was really surprised, is very good. Like if you like sweet coffee, I don't know, because the thing is, is I'm not a really big Starbucks coffee fan. Like if I want coffee, I'm not gonna go to Starbucks you know? So I was kind of skeptical about getting their creamer because I was like, I don't even really like Starbucks coffee, um, but it's really good. It adds a lot to a normal coffee like that. So 10 out of 10 recommend. Holy shit. I've never licked it by itself. And that is some sweet ass shit. And before you come at me and be like, oh, that's all sugar in your coffee. I, I know. And I like it. This is what we're doing. I'd say if I'm hanging out with my coffee connoisseur friends, then I definitely drink a lot more black coffee. I like them to think I'm cool. No, I mean, I do, I do want them to think I'm cool, but at the same time, I enjoy experiencing things the way that other people enjoy them, especially if they're good at them. So I always think it's a really cool experience to be able to dive deep into the world of coffee with the people I know and then come back and have my little Starbucks coffee cream or Pete's bullshit, you know? The world is full of so many diverse options of the way that we can do things. Why not experience all of them? Actually, my brother's calling me, so I will be right back with you guys. Okay, and we're back and sliding. I don't have any official stand for anything, so I just kind of set y'all up wherever it works. Uh, I feel like everything is always happening, which is great, but sometimes it just stresses me out. I feel like it's normal to feel stuck. As human beings, um, we're not naturally stagnant creatures, which is why I feel like we have such a fear in being stuck. But sometimes I think that it's good to listen to the stuckness, not necessarily dwell in it, but just, just feel it, you know? Cause when I'm stuck, one of my favorite things to do is write about it and like write about what's making me feel stuck. Even if it's just, I feel stuck, I feel stuck. What do I feel stuck about? homework. I don't do homework anymore, but you get the gist. And then just like listing things out so that you can see physically in front of you what doesn't feel good about you. So then you can read it over and, you know, assess your problems and be like, maybe these aren't as big as I th thought they are. Or, you know, maybe I can do something about this. Or maybe I need to realize that this isn't in my control and I need to let go of it. I feel like once my morning coffee rolls around, I get a lot more deep. I get a lot more introspective just because I sit for the first time in the day and I'm not like jumping around like a bean. Thank you guys so much for joining me and making some coffee this morning. It's been a while since I've seen y'all here on YouTube. So I appreciate you coming back and checking on me. I feel like I say this every single time I make a YouTube video, but I want to make more YouTube videos. So we're gonna try to get on the roll of it again. I miss you guys on here. It's really fun for me. And I hope to talk to you soon.